Hello, everyone, and welcome to a very special From the Vault. Uh, today's edition actually has to do not only with the amazing time of year that we're going into, this beautiful spring weather we're experiencing, uh, it also has to do with Texas and its connection to the West, as well as our new Night of Arts exhibition. Now, if you haven't been down to see Night of Arts, I highly recommend you check it out. There's some beautiful pieces uh, from 78 of the country's best Western artists. The galleries could not look better. It really is a sight to behold. And within each of these pieces, things that we don't actually see is the work and the effort and the energy that every artist puts into their work, whether that's uh, not only the, the time and the study and the effort, but even the study of historical facts, um, details that we may not even realize that the artist has gone to great pains in order to include just to enhance the look, the aesthetic, and the authenticity of their work. There's one piece today that actually has to do with all of that. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit about it today. You can see it uh, up on uh, our, I believe it's on our second floor. If you go up there, it's a piece by Ezra Tucker. It's called The Breaks of the Missouri. And I'm going to share that with you right now. So here it is, the breaks of the Missouri. Now, if you haven't been up to Montana, there are certain points at which in the Missouri breaks, the landscape slopes very easily down into the Missouri. And that was utilized by the bison for uh, migration purposes. They move from their northern uh, grazing areas to the southern grazing areas, depending on the time of the year. And sometimes huge herds would swim across the Missouri River, making travel very difficult. Now, one vessel that's going to find a little bit of difficulty is this one in the background and that is the detail that I kind of wanted to point out to you all today. Now you see the ship here if you get close to the piece you'll be able to see it it's called the Yellowstone. Now Yellowstone was an actual ship. It set sail from St. Louis uh, and its whole purpose was to see if it could facilitate the Montana fur trade via steamship and it made its inaugural voyage on April 16th 1831. It's 190 years this April 16th. And uh, this ship was the first one to make it from St. Louis, Missouri, all the way up to the mouth of the Yellowstone River, which is one of the reasons where it has its name. It facilitated the river trade. It made it very possible during this time. 1830s, the river trade and the fur trade particularly were huge industries in the United States. And so this boat was the first to make that journey. But what a lot of people don't know is it also connects to Texas. The same riverboat was later on utilized during the Texas Revolution. So after the Battle of the Alamo, but before the Battle of San Jacinto in April again of 1836, Sam Houston and the Texas Army knew that Santa Ana and his forces that vastly outnumbered them were on their way, moving eastward through Texas. Uh, and during the runaway scrape, the people who were occupying Washington on the Brazos, including Sam Houston himself, had to find a way to escape the city, get across the river, and put some distance between them and Santa Ana's forces. Well, they actually commissioned this ship right here, this, this, this very same steamship, the Yellowstone, to get them across the river essentially saving the cause of Texas and the Texas Republic um, and enabling Sam Houston to gain some much needed time and distance from Santa Ana's army prior to the Battle of San Jacinto. And so it really goes to show that not only are there some amazing stories in the West that tie the entire region together from Montana to Texas, but also if you take the time and look really close, some incredible details painted or sculpted into the work at Night of Artists. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, brief from the vault today and I hope you have a wonderful time. Come down, please see Night of Artists and we hope to see you again very soon at the museum. Thank you.